And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. Well, it's still going to be awfully cold at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. It's still 7 above, and we're going to have a pretty strong west to west southwest wind blowing. So, wind chill still low in the morning, and even through the day, yes, it gets up to 24, which will feel great. But the wind will be strong, gusts 30 to 40 miles an hour, and the clouds will be increasing. But hey, we'll take it. We'll take 20 to 25 for highs after three consecutive days with high temperatures in the single digits. Again, like I showed you in that graphic a while ago, you got to go back to December 31st to January 2nd uh, of 2017-18. Uh, to find a stretch of single digit highs like that. You see the wind chills tomorrow morning and there are the wind chills in the afternoon tomorrow. Thursday is even better 25 to 31 for highs. But here's the thing. We got a wave of snow that comes through in the morning. We get some very minor accumulation, but enough to slicken it up a little bit. Sun tries to come out for a brief time. Then we cloud back up in the evening. At least the wind won't be a big issue. And then you, there you see the high temperatures for Thursday. The system Thursday night, early, early Friday morning is the bigger one. That'll bring a little more snow and certainly more wind and cold. There are the clear skies tonight. There are the increasing clouds tomorrow. There's three o'clock. There's like nine o'clock tomorrow night, 10 o'clock. We are overcast and here comes some of that snow forming to our northwest. It will expand and move east and southeast towards a Thursday morning. We got this wave of snow that will come through that'll put down some accumulation. Then we get a lull, but then this snow comes in from the west. This clipper's got a little more strength to it. So here we are at midnight. This is midnight Thursday night. The snow becoming widespread, widespread snow at 3:30 in the morning. But the back edge of the snow now crossing I-57. It looks like around six o'clock Friday morning. So this is gonna wind down before noon. Just a couple lingering flakes around after that, but the wind will be strong and the temperature will be cold on Friday and wind chills, you know, early on Friday will drop back below zero and winds may gust 30 to 40. So blowing and drifting will be an issue. But look at this. Here comes the warmth. Look at all this rain all the way to the UP of Michigan and even Ontario next week. That tells us that the warmth is coming northward and we got the fog around too and that rain is going to add up. We can see some pretty big rises in creeks and streams and initially some ice jams on creeks and streams. One inch or less of fluffy light snow early Thursday morning, pretty much north of Highway 28. Anywhere in the zone, watch for slick areas on roads and slick Thursday night into very early Friday, one to three inches of kind of blowing snow around here, viewing area wide and then here comes the rain, here comes the thaw, here comes the ice jamming on some of the streams. One to two inches of rainfall Monday through Thursday of next week. Only 11 on Friday, zero Saturday morning, 14 for the high, but then it's back to 36 Monday. Little freezing rain, then going to rain and periodic rain and fog next week. And every day, highs well into the 40s.